What's going on everyone? Welcome back. We're on episode number six now. We had a very long two-hour awesome episode five going through the whole Sycamore area. We did it all and we did it all in one episode. Uh, we have a couple of side quests that I want to do today before we get to the Stag Lord. We're going to save that for next episode. So we're going to go through Old Oak, Tuscutter's Lair, uh, the Oak That Strayed, Glade of the Wilderness, Old Mesa, um, River Rhine Rise, Ratnook Hill, kind of, because that's a little OP for us right now, and then Trail in the Hill. So we have a lot to do, but uh, they're all pretty quick. It's usually one or two monsters, and that's it. Um, first things first, I have some spells that I want to copy in for Octavia real quick. Where are you at? There you are just to check them out and I can show you if they don't have the spell you can just right click and copy to spell book I gotta make sure she does have a class that she can't use I'm pretty sure so I remember copying one to her before and we weren't able to use it I don't know where to even look for that oh maybe Uh, give me one second. Well, it's probably going to take longer than one second. Okay, here we go. Specialist Transmutation Opposition School. Okay, so no necromancy at all. And I believe the very first spell was necromancy, right? Is that what False Life is? Okay, so we won't give that to her. Conjuration, don't have. No. Alright, this one, uh, Scorching... Scorching Ray is good to have, so we'll copy that to the spell book. Nope. Uh, these are protection from evil and stuff like that. Probably won't use it too much, but might as well add it to the spell book. Can't do any of those. What is this here? This is Scroll of Blur. Sweet. Yeah, let's definitely copy that one. And Vanish, we already have. Alright, here is a touch of gracelessness. With this touch, you reduce a creature to fumbling clown. Uh, it's a touch attack. Probably won't use it, but whatever. Let's just copy it anyways. Snowball already have. This one is shocking grasp. Have four of those. So you can, without looking, you can go through if you wanted to. That's necromancy. I'm not going to do that. And you don't have to use them on, on her. You could sell the scrolls. You could do anything with them. The good part is, if you do have a common scroll, you don't want to take that spell when you level up because you can just copy the scroll to it. So keep that in mind when you're picking spells. Sometimes the most obvious spells are Conjuration, Cross of Touch are um, easy to get in a scroll so you could instead just have the scroll later on and you won't have to waste a spell slot on it all right awesome sauce we did that and speaking of awesome sauce we do have some recipes here some sweet pancakes so we copy that recipe shepherd's pie and jeweled rice awesome got that out of the way so the first place we want to go to, um, let's see, do I need to buy anything? No, I don't need to do anything. First place we're going to go is Old Oak. So that is a place if you did see it before when you were traveling, you probably got your butt kicked because there's a big troll there and he's actually pretty tough. So now, hopefully, we're we're high enough level where we can take him, which I think we are. Keep in mind, trolls, if you've never played um, a D&D &D game or Pathfinder or anything, you have to kill them with acid or fire. The easy way in this game to do it in Pathfinder, you can just do normal damage, and that'll drop the troll, but it, it'll keep regenerating every round, until you drop some acid or fire on it. So you could easily just chop down the troll until he gets dropped down and then just do a little zero level acid spell on him. So um, we're gonna go south, then west, 
Um, it says south again. I went through and, and did this and then we're going to save real quick. Because we're going to go west again. Now some of these you won't see unless you make a perception check. So you got to make sure that you make the perception. See, there we go. So we made it. Let's go up in there. That sounded wrong. First, I like to travel around the map. It's not very big, as you see. And again, a lot of these that we're doing today are just one enemy, and that's it. And then it's you're done with that side of the map. So what do we got here? Enlarged person, that is awesome to have. If I don't have it already on her, I can't remember. Where are you, troll? There he is, okay. If you did want to sneak behind him, you could to take his treasure. I've done that before. <laughs> but I want to kick his butt. So let's see here. We're probably going to have to rest a little bit from all the travel we do. So we can use up some resources. Oh, yeah, we're going up level helps. Gets us some extra stuff. I'll use Bless with there. Why is Head Chomper never out? Head Chomper's the only one. So if you had Head, head Chomper, make sure that he's out because a lot of the times he's being a jerk and he doesn't come out. Uh, for this, it's probably going to be a tougher... I'm assuming it might be a little tough. So I'm going to enlarge Amiri and let's cast Bull Strength on her as well. Just buff the hell out of her. Okay, so she's buffed. Valerie, you're just going to go in and tank, and hopefully you don't drop too fast. Let's enlarge, we'll save, and then we'll go in with music. Awesome. Here we go. And if you see here, repping my Packers that won tonight, which is a beautiful thing. Alright, here we go. Let's do this. Let's uh, go here, you regular let's shoot with you 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 and you and you play some music okay yeah screw it I'll charge with the Miri too missed right away again miss what is your to hit troll guy uh Control, perception, spots. Here we go. Tax Valerie. She get a plus 13. So he needs to roll a 14 to hit me. That's not that. I mean, that's that's pretty good. It gives us a decent chance anyway. We already got him down to half. Boom. We just wrecked him. Like, really bad. So doing so, we get a belt of strength, giant strength plus two, which is really good. We'll throw that on real quick, and a light crossbow plus one. So now we can, let's get, um, let's do the bard, simply because Octavia uses acid splash usually. So magic there. Let's do the belt. Again, on Amiri, just because she's the one that does most of the attacking. We have a ring of protection, it looks like. You already have one, right? So we'll give you the second one. Raise your armor class to a measly 15. <laughs> it's not good. Oh, the Nymph's Gift. Remember we got that? We got to throw that on you as well. So against ranged attack, she even has a higher armor class. That is awesome to have. Let me make sure she has enlarged person real quick. Yeah, she did. Okay. Awesome. So right there, we just killed the only thing that's on this whole board. And um, we got a nice belt plus two. Let me just double check. I think, no, there's not anything hidden because we can't get in there. That's it. Voila, old oak is done. Already down the hatch. And I wasted, I didn't waste. I, I guarantee you, because they were enlarged, 
um, they did really good. So when you go in here and you fight this guy on second level or something, then it gets pretty tough. The reason I brought up that you might fight him early on is because it's right away off all legs. If you don't know where you're going and you come all the way over here, it'll pop up. And then you're like, oh, I can fight a troll. And you lose every time. Alright, so now we're going to go to the oak that's straight. So we're going to go south and west. And then northwest up here. We're going to save from here again because we make a perception to find these places. You never know. You might fail it. So we'll go northwest again. We found it. And notice that we went past it a little bit. So I, I just hit space bar to stop us and come back. Otherwise we could waste a, an hour or 30 minutes or whatever going to it. Okay, so this one, I'm not sure, this could be pretty hard, so I hope we can do pretty good against this dryad. Alright, let's circle the map, and this is a, a single character as well fight here. It's going to be tough, and everyone's going to die probably, but it should be fun. Reason being, she's a jerk, unless you can stop her from casting it, she casts... Um, I believe it's stone spike stone or stone spikes or something like that anyway they it's a pain in the ass they, it lays down and you just run over top of it and take damage every single turn and it lasts for an hour per level so it doesn't go away and if you wait for it to go away you might as well go to work and then come back <laughs> there she is okay so believe it or not one of the best ways to do this is literally to charge everybody and in doing so hopefully you can get there and interrupt her spell before she cast it so we're gonna buff again for this one alright bless let's do hmm I need to get more spells for Lindsay This only does four hit dice, right? Yeah, that's not... I'm sure this chick... Oh, actually, I can... Well, I can't even see her, but... I can identify her. And I believe she has a small amount of damage reduction as well. Alright. Okay, we're all blessed, we're ready to go. Let's move everyone up a step so I can find her again. There she is. Let's hit Y or just look at it. Okay, I can't see anything because why, why does it put it there? Just curious. Can I move that? Nope. Oh, you can right click on her. Oh, shoot. Level 13. Okay. Um, let's try it. Level 13. Lordy. Okay. Let's save. And let's pray. Alright, so we're going to charge, literally charge. And I think that should get everybody in there about the same time. I'm gonna, oh yeah, charge with these guys too. Yeah, hell yeah, get in there. Why can't you charge? Okay, we'll go attack. You can charge. Get in there. Get in there. There it is. Did it interrupt? It doesn't look like it interrupted it. Shit. Alright, well, it is what it is. Let's sing some music here. Oh yeah. Wait, I must have interrupted it. Call lightning spell failed. Oh man, we just jumped all over her. Nice. And that is how you do it. You just run in and guess what you get? A copper ring and a dagger. What kind of sh... Alright, a uh, Keen Sickle plus one, and one of the best spells in the game is Scroll of Freedom of Movement. So, that is worth it in itself. 
and we're going to copy that over immediately to my homegirl here, Octavia, because I will be using her throughout. What? They won't let me. Oh, maybe because I'm not high enough level to cast it yet? I'm not sure. No, because you can still copy over. That's kind of interesting. Let's save. So, if you're not lucky enough to do what I just did and charge, um, you're going to take a lot of damage every time you move. So what's going to happen is you're going to kill her, but afterwards trying to run away, the area is huge on it. So you're going to run away, you're going to die, and then you're going to stand up, and then you're going to die, and then you're going to stand up, and you're going to keep walking until you die and stand up 400 times. So it kind of gets to be a pain in the butt, and it wastes a lot of healing. This place as well, you can find at a very early on stage, so just be careful there. Now we're going to go to... Uh, tusk cutters next We're gonna take the roundabout way though Actually, let's save real quick Just to kind of explore more of the area none of this is going to show us anything that we need but It's always fun To get everything done now you notice all this thick clouding here? You can't go past that at certain points in the game. So actually I think right here, if I, you know what, just relax, okay? If I go in here, yeah, it kicks you out. Having reached the edge of the milky white blanket, we stopped. I've never seen a denser, thicker fog in all my life. Stretching my hand forward, I could hardly see the outlines of my fingers. And if my arms were as long as my companions, I don't think I'd even see my elbows. Again, this is Lindsay that writes these. We exchange hesitant looks. It would be impossible to find one's way through this haze. Uh, detect magic. One of us uses magic to analyze the fog. It was clear the gloom was an unnatural origin, but who or what could have spawned such a thing? We tried to light our way with a torch. The fire colored the fog in honey warm tones, but this did not improve the visibility. Fortune favors the brave. Having formed a single line with our hands on each other's shoulders, we move forward carefully. Soon the air became so damp it was hard to breathe and we were soaking wet in the blink of an eye. With each step our eyes fold, uh, uh, told us less and less until finally we were completely blind. It was positively impossible to continue in this way. After a roll call, having made sure all of us were in place, we tried to turn around and walk in the opposite direction. Alas, we may have well have closed our eyes. Stumbling and cursing anything and everything, we strayed for half the day. It was only by sheer luck that we managed to come clear of the place and exactly the spot we started from. Tired, wet, and hungry, we swore that there was nothing that would make us walk back in that haze. So there you go. So it stops you. There is a way around that, and it's cheesy, and we're not going to do it but you can get around that so if you're doing a solo adventure for instance you might want to do that to get the uh necklace of ira is that what it's called all right we're at minus uh we're, we're getting pretty tired here so let's save up and then rest hit r to rest let's manage and see what we got now Alright, we got minus 18 for camp camouflage. Maybe we should put her there. <laughs> She's completely useless. Alright, uh, 8 hunting, 5 cooking, 11 hunting. Let's just put you there now. Well, maybe someone else has it. 7 cooking, 10 cooking, and 9 hunting. 9 hunting? Whoa, Tristian. Look at you, dude. Let's put you there because everyone else... If you do put Lindsay here, she gives plus two to everybody. So it's just like her being placed in every single one of these spots, which is pretty big. It's pretty good. All right, cooking five, five. What are you cooking? Okay, you're obviously cooking. We have two plus fives. No, we don't. We have one plus five for cap camouflage. And that's not that good. So let's instead add 
who has the better plus here? Nine and seven. Who would I rather have, Valerie? Okay. Just in case we don't camouflage it. Plus one saving throw, sweet pancakes, plus five bonus movement to speed for a day, shepherd's pie, plus one on all saving throws, and jeweled rice, plus five movement for the day. Only a 16 DC. I'd have to roll a six. Plus five movement. I wonder if that helps traveling the world map. Whatever. It's all good. Use rations and let's do it. Come on. Yeah. Oh my god, look at us. We succeeded at everything. Thank you, Lindsay. Alright, we took the most roundabout way in the world history here. I'm going to save one more time just in case we get a stupid fight. In order to get there, you have to go this way, yep. So we'll go east, and then south, over here, and we made it. So Mary's going to try to go one-on-one -on -one with this beast, and usually that's not a good idea. <laughs> let's, uh, let's try to buffer as much as possible. Actually, let's do bless with you. And then let's make her invisible. And let's enlarge her. Do everything we can to give her a boost. You don't even need to do this. It's more for fun. Because she... She's probably going to lose anyways. But even if she succeeds... Uh, she still somehow yells at you. Most of the time anyway. Let me see. Did I do anything for you yet? No. So let's put that on you. Come on. Cool. So again, you can go in with your full party kill and she'd be pissed for like five seconds and then you're good. This is one round per level. Okay. So I'll probably cast that first. Let's run up there. So here we are. The monster is here and now I'll tear him apart. Yes, you just watch me. There's a customer I come from. A boy kills a monster in front of the elders to prove he's a man. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. In our parts, boys must do something rather different to become men. In our tribe, girls don't get initiated at all, so I arranged my trial myself. Like I sing a song about Kagul the orphan. I drowned a cave lion in single combat. Here, see the scars I got in battle. And do you know what my elders did after I threw the lion skin at their feet? They admitted they're wrong? Dream on. They laughed in my face. They said I scratched my belly myself and hired some man to kill the lion for me in trade for... Uh. Later they agreed my initiation. Of course, they had no choice, but... I don't even see scratches on her, but... Attack Tuscutter. I see. Come on, to battle. Yeah, let's just get on with it. Gorum, watch me! I'm going alone, got it? All right, let's do this real quick. Wow, her initiative is crap. Let's take this off so they just stay here and not do anything. You can see me, you big bastard. All right. Wish us luck. Actually, let's even rage. Let's just wreck it as much as possible. Nice. Ouch. Oh yeah. God, that's a lot of damage. Ooh! Let's go, girl. What'd you say? See me in action? I almost chopped his head off. I think you did, actually. It blew up. Yes, a real epic battle, just like the sagas. I won't even have to embellish it for the book. That's it, trial done. Now no one dare say Amiri is weak. You're a valiant warrior where only true fools would double your strength. Or were there truly fools who doubted your strength? Some did, you know, I spit on them. No one dare bark at me now. You hurt? <laughs> Scratches. 
Still, why do you want to kill this monster? You passed this test back when you were in the tribe, didn't you? Well, not just pups must test this pa or pass this test. If a man is a newcomer to a tribe, he must bring a monster's hide, prove he's not weak. Well, I am honored you consider me as part of your new tribe. You're a strong and valiant warrior. Don't, just don't start this, that, don't talk to me in honor and value. I know already. Still, I owe you thanks, and you have a true chief's heart. You know what? If we meet another monster like this, I'll kill it too. Not for a test, just, just that nobody would ever daze you dare say Amiri isn't a warrior. Alright, well we got away with that one, good. Uh, don't leave though. Not only can you get some juicy meat and tusk gutter's head, which you need, you can loot the body here for a wand of fine traps, which is, I think it just gives you like plus two to perception. And there's, I think two more things maybe, here's some honey. Throw that, a little honey barbecue or something on the board that we just murdered. It probably is nice and tender with some human meat inside of it. That's disgusting. Alright, so again, another one action thingamajig. And we kicked butt. We used a lot of our spells, but we did it. This next one we're going to do actually has quite a bit of enemies in it. We're going to fight a bunch of wolves. Why are you always so tired? Let's save real quick and then we'll head to the east. And hopefully we'll see it. There it is. Let's go back. And down. Alright, everyone's at minus two and... Let's just see, it could be kind of tough, but let's find out. We're going to fight a bunch of, oh, hello, a bunch of these. So Miri, you just chill out for a second, because these wolves like to get crazy. Yeah, look at that, already tripped, and they're very good at tripping. Come on. Good. These big dogs can do some damage and we're going to fight a lot of them throughout this one. So, There's some bones over here. <clears throat> what is that? Oh, there's some kind of funky something really. Is that all that's in this first part? I thought there was one more. Yeah, there we go. Wolf from Silence Pack. Mary's gonna get the shit kicked out of her, but that's okay. Everyone focus here, except for you. Kill that before you do damage to Amiri, please. No, no, oh, he missed. How do you miss a 15 armor class? Oh, that's why, okay. I forgot I turned the little guy off here. If you turn this brain off, then they don't auto attack the next thing that's going on. So make sure you turn that back on. I'm just searching these last little areas. No, nope. okay. More different items. And we enter right into more guys. Just two more though, shouldn't be too bad. We're at a, a nice enough level right now that we're gonna do pretty decent against these guys. 
Are you guys trapped? Is that what's going on? Yeah, they're trapped. Holy blood flying everywhere. How do you how do you get such can you get a good pelt out of somebody after you just literally throw dynamite at them and explode? Uh, that smiley's still sneaky, huh? Save. Alright, let's do again. Let's lead with these guys attacking. The reason I'm not clicking on Olivia is because she has the 30 foot attack or the range touch. Ouch. Okay. My bad. You guys attack over here. Oh! Amiri got wrecked. That's my fault for letting Amiri even get up there. That was dumb. Jesus. We're about to fight a lot more of these guys, including the wolf pack, or like the leader. And they split us into two. So this could get dicey. And we don't really have like a web or anything. Alright, so there's wolflings here. This is basically the, the mama. And they got wolflings here, and then the big boys come in this way. So what we'll do is we'll leave a smiley over here. What are you guys doing? Alright, G. Just stop. Okay. We're going to leave you over here to protect the back row people. You two are going to run in there and kill. Let's drink some potions real quick, Amiri. Even though I can heal you. Yeah, whatever. We got a lot of potions. Jeez, she took a lot of damage. Okay. You're good. You can't drink potions. You're at two hit points. <laughs> Jesus. Alright. Let's boost and buff. You drink. Is this a minute per level? Yeah, one minute, period. Hmm. I think we're going to use it now. Yeah, let's use it now. That was the bonded arcane bond that I used. You can recall any one spell of any level, just once per day. But I'm going to do a large person there. And I'm going to save bull strength for another fight. Let's do protection from evil, evil here. My hope is that I can kill these guys fast enough where the other ones won't be too much difficulty. Let's save. Okay. Wish me luck. Here we go. Stay a little bit longer, Amiri. Okay, now you can go in. And if need be, I'm hoping I can. I should be able to wipe these guys out quick enough. What the? F Where? Why? Oh shit! Here they come. Okay. You're gonna. Oh no. I'm going to bring these guys over here. There you go. Interception. And here's the big boy. Who are you targeting? Smiley? Uh-oh. <laughs> They're going to... You're not going to live very long, guy. Okay. What to do? You can't do anything. I'm going to have to heal with you right now. You. Let's color spray, why don't we? Do we have just them that I can target? Yeah. Let's do that then. Right 
there. You target them with her. Uh, we can just try to put them to sleep and see what happens. You never know. You attack. Let's get this guy off of you. Amiri, finish him off. And Valerie, don't die. Please. Where are you going? Okay. Wait. I can re up it, rearrange it to here to hit all three. Good. We're doing pretty good right now. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what's actually going on, but no one's dying, dying, so we should be good. We're cleaning house pretty good right now. Valerie's just tanking like, oh my god, Smiley. Valerie's tanking pretty hard right now, which is great. Look at the hit points on this guy. There we go. That got a little dicey. That got a little dicey. Alright. Let's save. Yeah, yeah, I know you guys are tired. Relax. Alright, what did we just get? We got a side plus one. Scroll of Bane. Pretty decent battle here, and we're high level. Or, not high level, but we're about the right level anyway. You could imagine playing that on Unreal. <laughs> no, thank you. All right, we're down to, uh, I think, Old Mesa. Is that where we're going next? To fight the Were Tiger. Look what's down here Stag Lord's Fort. Could go there. We're going to go north, e north, then east. Then let's save real quick. And then we're going to go east one more time to make sure we find it. And there it is. Get back there. Perfect. We are going to rest because we have a couple people that are pretty bad right now. And we have everything right. Yes. Okay. Begin resting. Probably should have saved, but we're good. Excellent. All right, let's jump right in. All right. <clears throat> Great, it's storming. That actually scared the hell out of me just now. Okay, so this were tiger <clears throat> usually invisible. So let's uh, try to pretend to be invisible ourselves. That way we can walk slow as dirt. Okay, there he is. He's not even invisible. Nice. Maybe that's someone else I'm thinking of. Alright. It's a were tiger. It should be at this level pretty decently easy to, to take down. But let's just do some small buffs real quick. That should be good. That's fine. Alright. And let's just go after him, man. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's a greater werewolf. What did I say? Where or something? How many attacks does he get? As Smiley's cro Oh, he switched to Amiri. All right, let's kill him real quick before Amiri dies. Oh shoot. Okay. Yeah, finish him off. The Greater Werewolf. We got Potion of Invisibility, a Ruby, and a Breastplate plus one. All right. Oh, dead body up here as well. The dang old lycanthropy, man. 
Let's uh, finish searching this whole area. Again, it's a pretty small area. It was the only encounter. We got one more with just one encounter. And we're gonna we're not gonna be able to do rat nook. I already know it. Oh I went up a level. Sweet. Let's go up in Ranger again. Nothing uh Hmm. Maybe I'll go up in if we did Alchemist. I might do this instead. Can you sneak attack from range, right? Well, yeah, of course you can because we do it all the time with with um, Octavia. Let's do it. Just see. Let's see what happens. If anything, I get a mutagen, so that's cool. I can up my decks real quick. So let's do Alchemist here. We'll do these two since they're the only points we Accomplished Sneak Attacker, Boon Companion. Yeah. What well, Deadly Aim is basically power attack with your bow, which is really nice to have. Rapid shot. You add an additional one with taking minus two to all your shots. Or make my animal companion pretty awesome. I'm gonna do deadly aim. Get that power attack going because now our base attack is four. And it, well, it has been four, so that means we're gonna be a minus two plus four. So we're gonna do that for sure. It's too strong to pass up. True Strike, and that's another awesome thing. I can get True Strike at any time now. And I'm going to take Reduce Person. What this does, it makes you tinier, obviously, but you get a plus two to dex, a plus one on attack rolls, and AC. Minus two to strength. But I'd rather, I, if it's tough to hit, I want to use Reduce Person. Cool, let's go the Vivi Sectionist, one of the best single level dips going into it. I missed all of this over here. It's probably nothing, but there might be a, a transition up here. Alright, nothing there. Oh, Jesus. Okay, there's one up here as well. Alright, well, done with that one. We're on to the next. Which is Riverine Rise. Riverine Rise is up here, or down, I guess. So you go north, then you go east, then southeast. Then we're going to go southeast again. We're going to save. Hopefully we can see it. We should be able to. We're gonna go southwest or we go southwest. No. <laughs> it's like no. Alright, so this is the same message. So we don't need to do that. So let's go southeast. And there it is. Okay. We went past it, so we'll go back. What the hell? Okay. After all of that, let's enter. Jeez, they did not want us to even go here. Fight something that looks really intimidating, but shouldn't be too hard to take down. Oh, it's only the large, okay. Shouldn't say only the large, but it's not gonna last very long. Maybe, if I can hit it, what's its armor class? What? It's a 17. Why is that so hard to hit? Okay. That was way too hard to hit. Why are they killing these guys here? Potion of... Or, I'm sorry, scroll or remove. 
blindness. And believe it or not, that's the only thing on this map. So nice and easy, quick experience, 18 that is. <laughs> Doing it more just to complete everything. All right, done with that one. Next we're going to a place that we're not gonna do much with because it's really hard at this level. We're off to see the rats. Uh, south, west, then go there, then we'll go north one and then east. I forgot to say, but we passed it anyways. So we're going to go in here and just do just do the traps because we'll get kicked in the nuts otherwise. I was thinking maybe we could come back if I put trickery on my guy and disarm him solo. Mutilated body. Looks like it was eaten by some rodents. I'll just do it now. Come on, Octavia. It's a 21 DC. It's a spot. There we go. Another one. An another one. Oh, we got more people that went up a level, baby. Nice. Sometimes there's a trap here, and I think it's like the alarm for those guys, but it doesn't work. Oh, shoot. Like, no matter what, they know you're coming, and their invisibility is just impossible, so... There we go. A lot of traps, so you can get some decent experience here. Really? Would you roll a one? Yep. One or two, you fail. You know what? You deserve that. So I'm going to let you get stabbed because that's embarrassing. And yes, I'm not going to get experience for that, but whatever. This time, though, I'm going to save. You'll be okay. You just need to un disarm the damn thing, man. All right. And that put everyone else up a level. Sweet. All right, so again, I'm sorry. We, we just aren't ready to fight the rats in here. So come back. We'll come back at a different time. Let's go into the world, and then we'll level up. Alright, let's level up. We'll start with Octavia here. We're going to go back up in Wizard for her. And this should be the last time. So let's give her more trickery, please. That way you don't fail anymore. Perception, Arcana, Mobility. Let's give you one Athletics just for the heck of it. Uh, what to take? Okay, maybe... Oh, did I already take Accomplish Sneak Attack? Where am I looking? Yeah. So let's go... Spell Focus, Evocation. That's always nice to have and awesome okay let's okay I have scorching ray because I learned that in a spell I'm gonna do web because that can be used for literally everything and hideous laughter is pretty good all of those are pretty good Invisibility, see if sense vitals. Hmm. 
I complained about not having enough to buff my people. So what can I buff with? She doesn't have really any buffs, does she? Let's just do, what do I have? Nothing. We could do bull strength for the fighters. You can do foxes or um, cat's grace for the decks. Let's go with bull strength for now. Why not? I know someone else already kind of has it, but it is what it is. You need to shut your mouth. All right, Lindsay, we're going back up in Bard again. And with her, we're definitely going to take Accomplished Sneak Attacker if we haven't. And Athletics. Yeah, okay. We're going to take Accomplished Sneak Attacker for her to increase her Sneak Attack by D6. We're probably going to go Eldridge Knight for her um, later on. Alright, so we get our Bard level 2 spells real quick. Well, we can... Oh, Blindness? Wait, this is Octavia. No, this is the Bard. Okay. Blur 100%. Gotta take Blur. And... Should we take a Summon? We already have two guys. Might crowd up the playing field. Let's go hold person. Completed. Alright. No news here. Definitely cleric. Easy answer. Wait, no, no persuasion. What are you doing? Let's have you instead. Well, you did those two. Yeah, why not? You and me. Let's go, let's do extra channeling for him, just because he, is there an extra, yeah. He's just a, an amazing healer if we need it. So now we got all of these spells now. Complete. You know what I haven't been doing is my spell book, so it's probably needed an update, and that's probably why I haven't been able to buff anyone. Let's go Inquisitor one more time, and Weapon Focus. Uh, there we go. We're going to take Weapon Focus Bastard Sword because that's what her uh, oversized holy crap weapon is. Um, ooh, aid. Okay, let's do aid. Aid grants plus one to attack rolls and saves versus fear effects plus a temporary hit point uh, d8 plus 10 at max. So plus one to attack and everything else, that's not too bad. Hmm. Restoration Lesser. That is really nice to have. I have a bunch of scrolls of it, but... I see invisibility I could probably use. Delay Poison, Bone Shaker does a lot of damage, but really, this is Amiri, right? Yeah, so I don't... This gets a plus two on saving throw of fear. I don't want to do any, like, far casting. I want to be able to run in and kill people. Oh, Resist Energy. Let's do that instead. <sighs> Let's do Sea Invisibility. I don't know why. I just feel like doing Sea Invisibility. Out of the damn blue. That doesn't even make sense. I don't know why I did that, but whatever. Um, Valerie, we're going fighter. Since we put so much into random spots for her. Perception, use magic device. We'll go... Let's do weapon focus her bastard sword as well. Armor training. Starting at third level, blah blah blah, reduced by one, increases the max dex by one. Okay. Tower shield training. Armor penalty is reduced by three. What, reduced by three? 
The armor penalty is reduced by three and the max dex is increased by two. Wow. Well, that's pretty nice. All right, let's move on from here. We went up levels, we're doing good. And let's uh, save right now. Yeah, 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 you'll get some rest in a little bit. Just relax. Uh, there it is, okay. Trail in the hills. Enter. What we're going to be fighting here is a leopard. And that leopard can do some damage big time. You know what? Uh, let's do the spell book now before I forget because I already did 17 times. You don't have anything you can do anyways, do you? Let's get rid of... Hmm. Let's pick up Aspect of the Falcon. So plus 3 on perception, plus 1 on ranged attacks, and the crit for my bow is 1920 instead of just 20. Alright, that's why. Let's do another enlarged person. I've been using that quite a bit. Let's do two of those. Get rid of Snowball, keep Magic Missile. I'm not going to get close enough for a Color Spray either, so let's do Magic Missile there. Web for sure. Definitely Blur twice. Scorching Ray. Okay. Alright, let's see what we want to give you. I think we should just do a summon, right? Let's do one summon. Yeah, let's do two, why not? Screw it. Okay, what's on the second page? Whole person. We have a couple people with that already, so let's focus on other things. Like, oh, I can't put more Scorching Rays down there. Uh, let's just do Restoration Lesser. I'm sure I'll need it at some point. And we have third level spells. Fireball. Easy. Easy choice. We can do... Summon Monster 3. Blindness, Searing Light, Prayer. Prayer gives you what? Plus one on attack, rolls, damage rolls, saves skills, while everyone else gets a minus one. I'm cool with that. We can definitely use a prayer. And let's throw a summon monster three just for the hell of it. Alright. Spells are done. Everyone's tired. And we're about to fight a damn cat. So let's save. And then we'll be off to the fort. Miri, what are you doing? Why don't you go back invisible for me, please? You're too fast. There you are, mature leopard. Ouch, ouch. Holy cow, you came out hot. Can we do A damage to him? Oh my god, he's doing so much <laughs> oh my oh, at least he's dying fast he's like a big glass cannon and I skinned his ass we got a short bow plus one wow he had Valerie so easy her armor class is up there now Almost forgot about that little guy. Oh, that little guy? I won't worry about that little guy. Name the movie down below. One of my the funniest movies ever. Alright, that 
is going to do it for the little side quest that we just did. The only thing left to do is to go kill the homie. Let's load up on our magic items real quick. I'm not going to use that. Shortbow plus one we can give to... What do you use? You don't use... Sh okay. Can the bard use the shortbow? Yes, you can. So you switch there. Tristian, you use this. Boom. My encumbrance is medium. Oh, we got the armor too as well, don't we? Breastplate plus one. I doubt that's higher. Way less for her. Only two higher armor class, but is this... It's medium. And I don't remember if barbarians can wear medium. I think they can only wear light for certain aspects of their class. And... Well... I'm doing it. <laughs> and it, we'll see what it knocks off. I don't know if it knocks off anything or not. We already have a change here, plus one on you. Let's put one on you. And that's fine. Okay. Not too many times she's going to fail her cast, I don't think. Alright. We're ready for you, Stag. I don't think I need to sell. I'll, I'll skip that for now. Oh, you can go to Ratnook from two different places. Ah, oh, I see, said the blind man. Damn, my guys are like super tired right now. Oh, shit. Evoid. Evoid? Evade. Avoid. Alright, let us save real quick. We can rest. And we will start the next episode kicking some butt. Now it's pretty tough. I'm, I'm so glad I got web just now because it's actually pretty tough inside Stag Lord. Oh, I just rusted, didn't I? I was going to say maybe I should grab more webs. I only grabbed one. We'll figure it out. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that little side quest there. We got a bunch of little spots. We unlocked a lot of the map. We got a lot of the areas done pretty quickly since there was only one or two monsters in each one, except for the wolves. We'll go back and kill those damn rats, the were-rats, because they're too powerful right now. And we also want to go back to Old Sycamore and kill the floating skull, the, the bad, what's his name, Victor something or other. We need to kill him as well. He's just a 15th level or a really high level. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave the comment below about the movie if you can quote it. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Make sure... You like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell. Ding. And that'll be it. Peace out, guys.